Okay, so another project day. So here's my garden fence so far. I want to catch you guys up on how we got to even this far in the garden fence project. So usually I end up drawing my projects by hand and, and not using CAD, but in uh, cases where you want to compare the size of things and the aesthetics, how, how things look to scale and, and all that, it's a lot easier to do in CAD. So in, in this case, I use SketchUp, um, which is a CAD program. And I was able to uh, draw the final design, which you see here. And uh, it was nice because I looked at four by four posts versus six by six posts, which you can see in the photos here. And uh, we decided to go with the six by six just because it looked a lot nicer. Um, and you can see I drew in some corbels here, and um, it, it just really helps to visualize. So basically, we're going to, over the next series of videos, we're going to try to create this in real life. And, and we're going to start off in this video, of course, cutting the post. Then we'll do the boards, and then uh, there'll be an install video and, and some final touches. We used to use those green posts with the, the nylon or your plastic fencing. But uh, we want to upgrade to a wood uh, garden fence. So today I'm going to be sawing some uh, six by sixes, white oak, for the garden fence. So we have here's a stash of uh, white oak. This is these pieces here are actually from the top of the uh, white oak uh, tree, the the crotch section that I sawed up before, uh, which is going to become coffee table. We have seen those videos already. So th these are the uh, branches higher up past that split. Um, and we're going to turn them into six by sixes. There's a couple over in this pile too. This pile here was all the, uh, we built our house and when they cleared the lot, they put all the smaller pieces of you know, the tree tops and, and branches in this pile. So be pulling from there too. Um, I'm using logs that probably would otherwise be turned into firewood. They're, they're fairly small, um, but should be enough heartwood for a 6x6 uh, six six or two um, out of most of them. This one, this one, if we luck out, might be able to get three, uh, but their logs are about eight foot long. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing a side project, which is looking at sawing some longer, some 12 foot 6x6s uh, six six for the neighbor. He has a uh, he has a shooting backdrop that uh, ended up rotten and flipping over, like a target target practice shooting backdrop. So I'm gonna mill him up some post, um, 12 foot long or as long as I can get. We're gonna go ahead and help him out there. So brought one log up already. This is a 12 foot. So this will be for the shooting backstop. Pretty ugly, uh, not very straight. I think I'd be happy to get one six by six out of this, if that's even possible. You can see it's uh, nowhere near straight, so we're gonna try to cut that out of it. Um, one of the benefits of having your own mill is I can take my time here and um, work with small pieces like this and, and get something useful out of it. Uh, if you took this to an actual sawmill, commercial sawmill, uh, they'd They'd laugh at you pretty hard, I, I would assume. But that's alright, we're not worried about that. We're going to get this positioned and try to get one, uh, one 12 foot 6x6 six six out of this. So there's be a lot of waste, a lot of firewood coming off this, but um, it would have just been all firewood uh, if we didn't use it for this purpose. So let's see what we can get from this, and then we're going to keep pulling post and then cut more 6x.
All right, so we just finished cutting up the post here. You can see it is going to have some live edge on it. Um, it was just such a uh, curved piece in, in multiple dimensions that that's where we're left with. But I still think very usable for uh, for our purposes. We're going to take the one board I got. It was all weights except for I really got one tiny little board here. We'll take a look at it just for fun. It's kind of neat. Definitely got some spalty in this way. It's been sitting around for quite some time, so it's my little uh, little board I got out of it. Uh, but overall, it's a usable uh, usable six by six. Like I said, it's going to go for the neighbor's uh, shooting backstop. No, no one's ever going to see it. It's definitely uh, functional, not beautiful, but uh, should be functional at twelve foot long, twelve foot long, six by six. So. Be able to get something out of that. All right, so we got another log up in the mill. Uh, fortunately, I don't have any more 12 foot logs and white oak sitting around, so um, as far as the shooting backdrop, I'm going to see what else I got laying around I already cut. So I think we're done for that, but now we're cutting for the uh, garden fence. Um, so we got a decent log here, uh, eight foot long, and about 15 square on that end, and a smaller end here, about 13, uh, 13 to 15, 13 to 15 inches. So uh, this log straight, I, I expect to at least get a. Uh, well, let's guess three six by sixes, uh, but we'll see. At least two, if not three. So uh, we're gonna get this sawed up and see what we get. Yeah, I didn't even get close to guessing how wide this blade guy needed to come out. It's gotta come out a lot, lot, lot more. Switch. So here's what it looks like right now. I squared up two sides, and I actually have a template. I have a template of what a six by six is, uh, dimensionally five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Although I could cut it to a true six inches if I wanted to, but we're gonna do uh, a, you know what's standardly available at the at the lumber yard. Um, so you can see. Laid it out. There's gonna be some live edge on this piece, which which is fine. It's gonna give me a rustic look to the fence. Um, two here is gonna have some live edge as well on the the center, which again is fine. Two two will two sides will not be live edge. Um, there will be some live edge here, and you can see there's definitely be some live edge here. Three is gonna be no live edge, or or very little. Um, there actually might be some on the bottom. It's hard to tell. Um, and four is definitely got some live edge on the on the corner there. Um, so if you did not want live edge at all, I would lay it out differently. I'd lay this one in more, and then this one in more. Yeah, both would be like this, and that's how you would get no live edge at all. Um, but then, as you can see, that your yield would go in half. You could only get two, two six buys with no live edge, whereas I can get four with live edge. And in my case, um, having two square sides is good enough of doing a, a fence line. So really the front is all I care about. The sides are, are less important, except for, of course, on the corner pieces. But I can 
I can pick and choose those. So we're ahead and road. We're gonna go ahead and rotate. We're gonna do this cut next, and then we're gonna do this cut next, and we'll have our camp. And then we'll split it uh, whichever way is easier. Split it this way, then split it that way, um, and take a look. So one other thing I do want to mention is when you're doing the layout with the template, you want to make sure you're doing that on the small end. That way you get a better idea for the minimal uh, space needed. If you do this on the big end, when you start cutting through to the small end, you realize there's not as much wood on the post as, as you think there should be. So um, that's something I did want to uh, did want to mention here. So we're going to go ahead, we already flipped it, and we're going to go ahead and cut this top sliver off. Take this top piece off, adjust the guides, we're going to cut it in half, and then do that again. So sure enough, we got four, four uh, two by sixes out of it. So I'm gonna split them apart here. I'll show you what they look like as far as how much live edge each has. So you can see, see the four we got, you can see this one has, uh, one of the edge has a good bit of live edge, that was from that top, top slice that I thought was going to do more, but yeah, the other ones don't have a whole lot. Um, the two of them really, uh, really don't have much live edge at all. Like I said, I'm not, uh, I don't hate having a little live edge on there, so. That's good. We utilized uh, the vast majority of this log. It's nice having some larger logs. The smaller ones really take uh, don't don't yield a whole lot of two by sixes. You know, one or two max. It's nice to get one with four. Then we're gonna go stack this up and uh, keep cutting. We're looking for about um, twelve of these, so we're uh, got some more to go. That's going to be it for part one. I uh, made a lot of progress in uh, in this video here. In the next part, we're going to finish up all the posts that I need for the uh, garden fence. So stay tuned. Uh, feel free to like and uh, subscribe to the channel here if you want to uh, stay up to date on the uh, videos I'm putting out.